Okay, so let's look at that, that uh, example you just did uh, for the quiz. And let's try and, and understand how we might design a, a finite state machine with logic to do that. So first of all, what we want to do is we want to make a, uh, a truth table for the next state. And uh, there's actually uh, two next states. There's the, for each of those, they're going to need two bits, the zeroth bit of the next state and the first bit of the next state. So we'll call S0 prime the zeroth bit of the next state and S1 prime the first bit of the next state. So we've got uh, three inputs. So there's the switch input, and then there's the present state, S1 and S0, and we've got to figure out what the next state is. So here, let's stop out. Well, whenever the uh, first input, you know, the input is zero, it doesn't matter. We can have don't care on S1 and S0. We always want a zero out. So that's the first uh, line there. And then if uh, the input is turned on, there's some, some things we have to look at in more detail. If we're at the zero, zero state, that will be all the lights off. We want to move to the next state, which is the zero one state, which uh, you know is uh, the first set of lights on, and then we want to go to the two zero state, and then the three, uh, I mean three state, the two state, the three state, and then back to the, finally to the zero state as the next state. So it's just counting; we're just labeling the states by numbers. So the other thing we need to do is figure out what the outputs are. So let, let's let Z be the lights 1 and 2, let's let Y be lights the 3 and 4, and let's let uh, light 5 be X. So when do we want these things on? Well, when it's uh, in state 0, we want them all off. So that's zeros for all of those. When it's in state 1, we want only Z on. When it's in state two, we want Z and Y on, and when it's in state three, we want all of them on. So, that's, uh, that's the way the lights are going to work on the outputs. We need to put those uh, truth tables into equations. So here's the equation for S0, um, next state of S0. So we need to look where it's a 1. Here's it's a 1 and here's it's a 1. So we're going to OR two things together. This one right here, well everything has to have IN on it. So I'm just going to say IN AND and then I'm going to OR a couple things together. So IN AND uh, looks like this is S1 naught and S0 naught. So that's this first term. And uh, the other term where we had a 1 was right here. So that's S1 and S0 naught. So that's that guy right there. And similarly, you can do the second uh, next state thing, and, you know, just look for where these are ones, and then look for, you know, this is S1 naught and S0, and this is S0, uh, or S1 and S0 naught, so that's, that's this thing right there. <coughs> so, now we've got the, the next state, we also need to do the same thing for the, for the outputs. So X is just, um, it's just uh, S0 and S1. So if you look at uh, S0 and S1, and if you do that, you'll find out, yep, it's only this one right here, S0 and S1. So that's easy. Y is equal to, that's this one right here, we're going to have two terms, S1 and S0 naught, and the other term is S0 and S1. So there we go. And Z is going to have three terms, because there's three ones, one, two, three. So here are the three terms for the Z. So we wrote the, rewrote the equations here, so you could see what we had from the last slide. And uh, we've got our storage element here. This is our master-slave flip-flop for S1, and this is the master-slave flip-flop for S0. So that means that the input over here is S1 prime, and this is S0 prime, and these are the outputs of the flip-flops over here on this side. This clock is also an input, so you know, maybe I should have had arrows on here, but generally they don't put arrows on, uh, on schematic diagrams like that, so we haven't done that here. 
So let's just look here. Notice that all of these these things here are all anded. Every one of them goes with an in here. No in is anded, 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 and all, all of those. So we can kind of ignore these guys right here. Um, because basically if in is not on, we want all the, you know, these guys right here could have had in anded with them. They're, they're basically going to be all off if, uh, if in is not on. So let's look at um, let's look at computing say s0 here s0 prime the next state for s0. Well, it looks like it's the or of two things, and that's what it says here. s0 is the or of two things. Um, really, this in could be distributed here. It's in and s0 not and at not s1. And that's this first thing right here. It goes boom right there. That goes right in there. So that's this in multiplied by that distributed through. And this guy is in distributed through with S0 naught and S1. So S0 naught. S0 is right here. So S0 naught is like right here. And there is S1. So that guy comes down and goes in here and gives me S0 prime. So that's the right thing that goes in here. And you can do a similar thing for this, you know, just figure out what, what this equation says, make the gates that do it, and you'll get this S1 prime, which you need to put in here. And then here's your X, Y, and Z, where you hook up the uh, different sets of lights. So that's your, uh, your design for the traffic logic sign or traffic sign logic. Note here I should say that uh, um, some of these are uh, could be simplified quite a bit but in this class I'm really not um, wanting to address simplifying Boolean algebra like for example there's a property that says here y equals if you just look at this thing right here this actually just becomes um, s1 I mean if you look back at the truth table let's look at the truth table so y is just exactly the same thing as s1 there, right? You can see it. Just you could put just s1, but um, simplifying Boolean algebra is something you'll you'll get good at in digital logic if you take that uh, class. And I, uh, you know, this this circuit right here would work. It's just that perhaps we could build it with fewer gates if we simplified the uh, Boolean algebra. So that's what that note was about. Um, so what do we uh, do here? Uh, uh, who, who, how does this data work? We've got uh, combinational logic and sequential logic, and the combinational logic is made up of decoders, multiplexers, the ALU, that's the arithmetic logic use unit, and the sequential logic, those are, that's a state machine which coordinates things, it's registers and latches and memory. So that's what we use in the computer. That's the end of the digital logic lecture for uh, assembly language.